afternoon. Happy Friday. How are you? How are you this week? I think it's been three weeks since we last saw you. So do say hello if you're watching. Amy's <laughs> distracting me now. Sorry. <laughs> Amy's distracting me, so I'm just... just <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. How are you all? Do, do come and say hello. <laughs> How are you doing, Polly? Yes, thank you very much. Oh, yes, I can see what you mean now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you We're not very to. good at the hand signals behind camera no, exactly. thing, are we? You have to tell me what your hand signals mean before Sorry. we go live. So I'm just scrolling through to see... Oh, let me just refresh my page. As usual, refreshing page time. Um, hi, Justine. Oh, hi, Justine. How are you? She's cutting out a purple bra. Hello, oh. Susan. Hi, Susan. There's some people joining on Instagram as well. How did you get on with your search for the your revival outfit for your husband, Justine? Did you manage to find something? I know you were looking at... I've, we've been doing um, costuming at... Um, what are you doing, Erin? I'm just getting it. I found, oh, okay. it. I found it. I'm back. I'm here. Right. Hi, here Suzanne. Oh, hi, Suzanne. How are you? Back in Guernsey. How was your trip? We missed you last night. We were doing our so long. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Nice to see you. Oh, uh, Barbie's here on Instagram. She's Hello. saying, hi, this is the first time I've actually caught your line. Hi, Barbie. How are you? What, what, what time is it there? In Boise. Boise. What time is it there? Um... Love it when we get our US contingent yeah, joining. Yeah, it's really nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. I've been, Justine, I was just saying, I've been doing, um, we're doing costumes, we're doing fittings at, in wardrobe down at Goodwood today because it, we're, it's Goodwood Revival next week, so I'm helping out in the wardrobe department and we did fittings today. Um, oh, Barbie says it's 10.30 in the morning. Oh, that's not too bad then, is it? That's, um, oh, Justine says she's sorted. Tweed jackets, excellent. We've yeah. been doing a lot of uniforms today and things like that for people. Um, coming in to get fittings today. Hi Phil. Hello Phil. Nice to see you. So what, are you, what else are you all up to? I can see that um, Justine's making a bra. Suzanne said the trip was back. The trip back was fine. Pretty tired, yeah. Uh, I, bet. I bet you are, yes. Hi Catherine. Hello Catherine. How are you? Nice to see you. You've got to unpack all that fabric you might have bought, Suzanne. <laughs> Sneakily put it in your sewing room. <laughs> We've had a lovely time since we last since we last saw you because we've had both of our sewing retreats. So we've had a fantastic time in Brighton. Um, I think straight after the retreat, I went and did a bra making class. After the last live was a bra making class, and then we went straight up to Brighton for the first of our retreats, um, where we had sixteen lovely ladies. Um, oh, hi Anne! Thanks for joining us. Hello, Anne. Uh, Too hot to wear your leather jacket from oh. Brighton. <laughs> Hi Claire from Austria. Claire's joining us oh, from Austria. Hi Claire. Oh hi Janet. It was nice Hello, to see you Janet. last night. I hope you're feeling okay today. Suzanne, no, of course Suzanne, you would never buy fabric. It was no. a no. Yeah. <laughs> outrageous <laughs> lies. It was just it was just a, a thicket of our imagination. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Phil's working on her couture jacket. Excellent, well done. Oh, Suzanne said, uh, Catherine's thinking of an Ikea trip for her, wants to know what to get for her Oh, you need one of the trolleys. Oh, you need the trolleys that we right have behind like, you. Like I have here. These are great. These trolleys. Uh, and you can buy the wooden doors for the top separately. Uh, the Kallax units behind me. <laughs> it's all Ikea here. And also they, uh, they have it set up in most Ikea, the sewing section. They that do. They do like, but it's got yeah. um, their pegboarding, which is a really nice pegboarding with lots of hooks. Mm -hmm. and. They're really good. I think Sally's got rooms. that in her in her sewing. Yeah. She's got her scissors hanging up on hooks. It's a really good pegboard system. Oh, how lovely, Catherine. A trip to Ikea. Oh, I want one. We haven't done one for a while, have we? No. Yeah, trip to. Yeah, Janet's saying get, get the, the trolley. trolley. Yeah, this yeah is the, the big one. This is the big two. one. They also do a small one half size, which I have at home, actually. But the bigger one's nicer because you can sit your steam iron on it. And then you can That's wheel your iron around. All your room. pressing tools underneath it. One of the ladies at the Makers Atelier treat bought hers with her. She did, yes. Yes, <laughs> Marina bought her trolley to the retreat. I thought that was very, very smart, very well organised. Uh, yeah, Suzanne saying pegboards and trolleys with tops. 
Mm -hmm. we, all have, we all have a big bit of an Ikea in our sewing room, don't we? Yeah, so we had the first the first week was our, was our sewing retreat was where with lots of ladies from here came out. I think we knew everybody, didn't we, on the first retreat? We did. Apart from um, uh, Tanya. 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 I think Tanya again. is watching us on Instagram. Oh, actually. hi Tanya. Hope you are. Well, now we know her. Oh, here we go. Look. Uh, hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Uh, Claire says, Catherine, uh, Claire's studio is all Ikea. She's going to send some photos when she's home. Custom cutting table from Calax <laughs> Worktops. Yeah, and also the cutting tables, the other ones that are really good are the ones that are like the wallpaper table tables, you know? Mm. They've got like, uh, what, do they, what are they called? They've got those struts that you can raise up and raise down. Oh, the, the one that um, Victoria used. The trestles. The yeah, trestles. you can get trestles. You can also, they do do one table that actually you can you can wind up. It's a bit more expensive. Yeah. You, um, uh, Victoria's got the ones that have little pegs yeah, in. Yeah, the trestle tables. Down. They're really good for cutting. But their tabletops are so good. But this, this is Janet good. saying, may I give you a yeah, list for you Ikea? A list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all give you a list, please, Catherine. <laughs> right, we hire the, a man. Um, the tables that I use in the sewing room are 150 by 75, but you can get ones that are 220 as well. So they do lots of different sizes in these tabletops, and then you can just fold the legs separately. And Suzanne's saying you can also get good fabric for... Um, Making twirls as well from Ikea. Martina's here. Ah, She's hello, never Martina. made it before. <laughs> Welcome to our Facebook Live. Oh, thanks for joining us. Pegboard's good, plus the storage boxes for cube shell. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, you can get lots of different storage for the cats. Basically, our entire sewing room is Ikea, Ikea. Catherine says. Yeah. Chairs, <laughs> the wheelie chairs. You can get all these nice wheelie chairs from Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be giving you a big enough list, Catherine. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> taking notes. She's gone yeah. very quiet. Yeah. She's taking notes. <laughs> You'll have to watch it back just to get all the, li the list of the things that we're suggesting. <laughs> Lots of good things. It's, a, it's the best place to get everything you need. Uh, uh, Susan's saying that, yeah, pegboards. Catherine said she thinks she's a lorry. <laughs> that is the trouble. You can get it delivered. When you I can. got all the stuff get the for heavy here. stuff delivered. Yeah, when I got the stuff for the sewing room, I got it delivered, which was quite oh, good. Yeah, I had all my bedroom furniture. So you could delivered. go there, make a list, and then get it delivered. <clears throat> um, Martina's sewing room is all like here as well. Yeah. Oh, can't wait to put it up in one day. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, ah, you can get it built as well. Someone's oh, my phone. I was going to look on my phone. I found a really good company that will do like. Build your flat pack. But yeah, you, it's basically you can hire a handyman for like an hour, but I think it's only in like big cities at the moment. Mm. Um, one of the uh, one of the best things when we moved here, the guys who moved for us actually dismantled this big unit behind me and they rebuilt it when we got here. So I thought I was going to have to do that, and they said, "Oh no, we've numbered it all," and they rebuilt rebuilt it all for me. So I was very happy with that because it's quite heavy. You know, some of the panels for the for mm, those it's really units, solid. It's really it? solid. So electric screwdriver. That's the other thing. Oh I yeah, recommend electric screwdriver. I don't think, I don't think they sell those at IKEA. No, just to get one. <laughs> uh, yeah, really that sounds efficient. really good, Martina. Yeah. Oh, hi, Margaret. How are you? Nice to see you today. It's been so long since I've seen anything. Oh, unless you. Barbie also says all of her shelving in her sewing room is from IKEA. Oh, I see. So <laughs> even in America, sewing rooms are made out of <laughs> IKEA furniture. That's amazing. <laughs> That's brilliant. Where's your? Have you got IKEA in Boise? Where's your nearest IKEA? So yeah, we've got them, they're quite, they're about an hour's drive from where we are, aren't they? We yeah. Know, Portsmouth or, or Croydon's a bit far. Oh, and they sell the electric screwdrivers at Ikea in oh. America. They do sell them in the American There you ones. go. Maybe they, they sell them here. We never really never looked, looked. we, actually? Hmm. I bet they do. Oh, well, Margaret's yeah. Team Calax as well. Team Calax, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh, hi, Mum. Hi, Nan. <laughs> Yeah, don't be fooled. There is another one that is not Calax. Oh, that we yes. made the mistake of buying two fours and we realised they weren't Calax. Exactly. They and were a different one and then all of our stuff doesn't fit in them. So make sure it's Calax and the Calax fittings. Ah, Barbie says Portland, Oregon and Sacramento, Ooh, California. Oh, Ikea. Oh, and a Salt Lake City in Utah. All over the place. Oh, Alice would be all right when she moves yeah. to America then. <laughs> yeah. She'll do her, her new home in Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> What a funny chat our sewing goes to. Actually, very relevant, though, because, it yeah, yeah, it's, it's the best good. place it's for a sewing room. I'm going to need mm. that soon. Yes, you will, won't you? Yeah. When you do your sewing room. So what else we do? Let's just talk about our retreat, because they were so oh, good, yeah, weren't they? Were they? Good. We'd had such a good time. So a lot of the ladies I was saying hello to, the last time I saw you was on our first retreat, um, where we had 16 lovely ladies, all, make, all making different things. It was such good fun. Everyone were making completely different things. Um, there was things for trousers, blazers... 
um, Cynthia made a lovely sequin uh, shirt using the Mediterranean pattern. Um, Martina did lots of fitting things. What else do we have here? Um, Jen made a shirt. Also, oh, Whoa, all sorts Margaret, of things. that is big news. IKEA have bought the top shop flagship store on oh. Oxford Street. Oh my goodness. Whoa. IKEA wow. in central, central London. That's crazy. How, would, how is that even going to work? He can't drive to it. No, it's going to have to just be a showroom where you must have to yeah. get things delivered. Hold online. Very exciting. That's, that is news, Margaret. That, that is, is news. Yeah, that Big is news. news. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I feel quite sentimental about Topshop. I know, I used to love going yeah. there. Wow, that is news. Wow. It's going okay. to be a visit. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, when's it, when's it opening? <laughs> Moving on from IKEA. <laughs> yeah. Back to sewing. Back to sewing, yes. So we had, we did lots of sewing. We had lots of, we, I did uh, a few little demonstrations. Uh, we went to Ditto, of course. Um, saw lovely Jill at Ditto, and we just all might have bought things. Um, that would be Ditto. fun on the underground. <laughs> well, no, the imagine. With People with their Calyx <laughs> units trying to get onto the circle line or whatever it is that goes past. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loads of people oh, living yeah. in London. Get Uber. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, hi, hi Barbara. Barbara. How are you? Yes, we're back. They do that in other cities. There's so many department stores around. They empty. might do. They might go into somewhere like Debenhams or Army and Navy. Might oh, they? yeah, we've got an empty Army and Navy in Chichester, so that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how are you, Barbara? How's things down in, um, down in Hailing Island today? Oh, Suzanne said, Victor said they paid £385 million Oh, wow. Shop. That's a lot. There we go. Um, Claire said her dre Emmy dress from the retreat is with her on holiday. Oh. Hasn't worn it yet. That was such weekend. a nice dress, Claire. Claire made a really, really good dress. Um, was it was to suit you, wasn't it, I think? Um, so, we had, yeah, such a brilliant time. We went out for dinner every night. We went to some great restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, the hotel was great. We had nice lunches. May have had a little glass of wine or two, or Baileys, with <laughs> yeah, in the bar when we got back to the Eat hotel. Gin and <laughs> hi, Jen. Um, oh, hi, Jen. How are you? We're just talking about what everyone was making. You were making. You did a bit of sort of swimsuit, didn't you? And made a uh, oh, stylock Emmy dress. Oh, stylock. That's right. I think my pattern company's mixed up. Um, Jen made a, did a bit of a swimsuit, and she also did a nice shirt for her man, which was looking very nice. Really good pattern matching. I think you got a picture of that pattern match. I did. Aang's on that one. <laughs> yeah, 385 million by a lot of Calax, Margaret said. True. Uh, so, yeah, we had a really great week, really good. And then uh, on the Friday, we left, we, we came home for the weekend and went back again the following Tuesday for the Meg's Atelier sewing retreat, which is a collaboration with, uh, with us and Francis from the Meg's Atelier. And on that one, um, I only knew two people there. Actually, Suzanne did both retreats. So I saw the two different sides of the retreats. Um, so Suzanne and Marianne are the people I knew, and the other 12 ladies we didn't know, did we? It was all we uh, really great fun. So we met lots of new lovely people. We did. Oh, Suzanne said she had a great time in Brighton. Uh, Jen still hasn't finished, but pattern matching was epic. It was, it was, it was epic, epic, Jen. Pattern matching. It was. Yes, it was. It's gonna be a great shirt. Looking forward to seeing pictures that finished, Jen. <laughs> So the, the Meg's Atelier retreat is slightly different because we spend the first day just, you, you don't go there thinking with any real idea of what you're going to make, although it's going to be obviously a Meg's Atelier pattern, um, but we try and get you to think about what you'd like to make and by talking about styles and fabrics and getting uh, everyone to, um, I, I do a little workshop on seam and hem finishes, so working with different fabrics. So you get to try different fabrics. Uh, and uh, so some people did have ideas of what they were going to make and some did, but then they changed their minds. Uh, and quite a few people made things in leather because we talked about leather and then we did a little sample of sewing with leather. Uh, and I once think people, that was five. Yeah, I think the five people made things in leather. So once we've done our, our little workshop and chosen what pattern, after lunch we go fabric shopping uh, and the group, you go to, you can go to look at the leather and you can go to Ditto and then you can swap over. So Francis goes to the leather place and I go to Ditto. So I get to spend quite a long time in Ditto, <laughs> which was great. And then we just get back to the, uh, the room late afternoon and do a little bit of cutting out but really don't start sewing until the beginning of the second day so um yeah so it was really a really great week again lots of lovely food and yeah the nice restaurants and um yeah it's lovely really so good two yeah i think what do we do? a lot of people um 
on that retreat made uh, underlined jackets, leather jackets. Suzanne made two slip dresses. Well done, Suzanne. That was very impressive. Everyone was very impressed with that. Two dresses. Um, Susan, oh. Uh, Jen, Jen's, where's the leather place in oh, Brighton? Oh, I can't remember the name of it. I'll have to, um, we'll have to share that because it's somebody that... Um, it's like a private, it's not a yeah, business. Yeah, you, you have to make an appointment. So well, it is I, a business. Yeah, it is a business, but you have to make an appointment. So I've got the name somewhere. Um, it was one of Francis's contacts. So yeah, I'll let you know that, Jen, just so you can know. And Susan, doing all my hand finishing, very tough material. Oh, that was on your blazer. Yeah, that was quite tough, that cotton, wasn't it? But it looked so good. And you have your pleas with it, Susan. It, you were doing a really good job with that. Susan was on the first retreat, making a blazer, which looked great. Really Anyone good. on Instagram wondering where all these comments are, they are on Facebook. Yeah. So we have both live at the yeah, same time. Yeah, following comments. So I'm, yeah. I, can, I can see the comments on Facebook on my laptop, and Amy's following the Instagram comments <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> so, so I'm looking between two. <laughs> oh, Susan said she's pleased with that. So yeah, so it's really good, really good fun. Um, on the retreat, so we were a bit shattered weren't we, when we came back, mm. but it was yeah, it was brilliant. It was yeah, really enjoyed it. So good to be back doing events, isn't it? Aim? It is lovely. Aims were, Aims were fantastic, organising everything, Thank you. dealing with the hotel, <laughs> dealing with the restaurants, sorting out the sorting out the bills at the end of the meals. Yeah, was, well, the we last, figured that out by the last, last meal, meal on, the, on the second retreat. <laughs> on the second week, finally, finally the, the light system. bulb went off and it was faultless. <laughs> But yeah, really good systems in place. So next year, anyone come to the retreats, it's going to be seamless. I'm going to finish the three dresses over the two weeks that are nearly there. Next week. Next week. I'm going to finish the three dresses. And that was the hips. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> We've all seen the pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Janet's saying you were amazing. Thanks, Janet. You were. <laughs> kept everyone kept on their toes yeah we've had lots of lovely emails and cards yes. and messages from people so thank, thank you very you. much we both enjoy it a lot we do yeah and as long do. as you're happy we're happy aren't we because we really exactly. enjoy it really enjoy it so the sewing and the socializing it's such a great combination isn't it so just being with like-minded people mm. and uh, having a great time so yeah so thank you to everyone that came um and uh, yeah we look forward to doing it all again so since we got back, uh, when did we get back? Got back last Friday. Was that it only last Friday? What was it? It was. It was a week ago today. A weekend off. Um, and then I uh, got back this week and straight into sewing schools, afternoon schools, evening classes, all started up again this week. Um, but uh, also I've been working at Goodwood Revival in the wardrobe department, like I just mentioned, because next weekend is the Goodwood Revival. Um, oh, there we go. Martina saying you're amazing. Thank you, oh, Martina. I'm a great teacher. Thanks, Martina. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Claire loved it. Oh, good. I think all same people are lovely, Claire. That's what it is, you see. Being all together, we always have a lovely time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm working in good with the um, in between classes. I'm down in wardrobe, and then next weekend I'll be there for the whole event. So I'll take lots of pictures so you can see all the lovely costumes. Um, although it'll be a bit different this year, because obviously we're trying to sort of not be too much in the crowd, so I'll probably stay in the wardrobe department most of the time rather than going in to the crowds and things, because I've got one here to be responsible for. So in between that we've also started a new sew along this week. We started the Luna jacket which was the Kochi kimono by Paper Cut Patterns that has a, had several variations since then. But so it's a great little kimono which I, you've only seen me wearing as a top before so had a few people do that. Oh, Susan says it was fabulous and makes her look forward to having more time at home. Doesn't it make me look forward to having more time at home? Because oh, you'll get of course Susan you're going to be retiring aren't you? That's such exciting news. You'll have more time to do more sewing. Hooray! That's <laughs> great news. <laughs> um, so what else? I keep getting distracted because it's so lovely to chat to everybody. Thinking about what's coming up. So we're doing the sew-alongs. We've got another sew-along in a few weeks' time, which is with um, the lovely Mary Funt, who's going to be doing a trims class uh, presentation. You may remember she did one for us in June. Well, she's been uh, working on some new trims and some new techniques to do trim on couture jackets so if you'd like to see what Mary's been working on we have um, another so long presentation with Mary in I think it's the 23rd of September so Wednesday evening anyway so uh, yeah do sign up for that it'll be a little bit of a, a recap of what Mary did last time uh, with the crochet and uh, um, making uh, tubes and things and then some new ideas as well so if you'd like to join that sign up for that please do Next week, we're starting our level three pattern cutting class. Yay! 
which Amy is going to do. So I have been signed up for this for two years. Yes, you have. <laughs> you have Margaret's been yet. Margaret's been signed up for two years as well. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't normally do it in the autumn, but I just felt for those people that have had it cancelled twice. <laughs> We Thank do you. <laughs> <laughs> we do one in the autumn, and uh, it's quite sad then because you had to, your your holiday was cancelled, wasn't it? That's the only so reason I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah so my holiday. Sadly, cancelled. holiday was cancelled, but yeah, you can do level three. Yeah, <laughs> I'm quite happy about that. You can do some pattern cutting, so we're going to start that on Wednesday and Thursday. So have maths and measurements and all sorts of things going on there. <clears throat> and we've got a trouser workshop in a couple of weeks. One place left on the trouser workshop. Mm. There's a few spaces on the workshops coming up. Uh, Nobody take September. it. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you haven't you made trousers. I haven't made Not anything recently. I need to make something. Just need to come to workshop. I do. <laughs> I know. I feel like we haven't spent. We're still unpacking, actually. Aren't still we? unpacking. Cause it's been so busy since we got back. We're still sort of unpacking. And of course, we are getting also getting ready for the knitting and stitching show at Alexandra Palace. Yeah, I know. Um, it'll be fun, Margaret. Oh, Margaret, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is going to be fun. There's four of you doing it, so it'll be nice. nice, actually. It's a nice number. <clears throat> Um, yeah, Ali Pally. Yes, Ali Pally in the oh, first week of October. Who's coming to that? It's going to be great. So I'll be teaching lots of workshops, and Amy will be there with our stand, which have a little bit bigger stand, so we can yeah, take more stuff. A bigger stand in a bigger room. Yeah, it's very scary. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're worried about the shows, we, I mean, I'm quite confident that they're doing. You know, they're making it as safe as they possibly can. It looks like they've done loads to make it uh, really easy for everyone to get there. Um, oh, that's the other thing. Oh, yes, of course, Catherine, you did the body double as well, didn't you? Um, in between the two sewing retreats, there was a workshop here that was taught by Wendy Gardner, uh, which was uh, create your own body double, where you pad out your dress form to match your own body, which helps you with fitting. And Catherine and Suzanne both did that after the sewing retreat. So I don't know how you did that. I was exhausted <laughs> that weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it, Catherine, because it's a, it's a fun workshop, isn't it? So Wendy will be doing that again in October, which I think is fully booked, but we'll get some dates for next year as well. So anyone interested in doing that workshop with Wendy, there will be some new some new dates as well coming up. Um, I forgot what I was talking about then, trouser workshops, uh, unpacking. Oh, and Ali Pally, that's right, Ali Pally. So yes, um, I, what you do, if you want to book a ticket for the show, I think they're letting people in for the morning or afternoons um, into the show. So it's just spreading everything out, and there's a lot more space around the stands and in the workshop area the room where the workshop area is used to be half workshops and half uh, stands but now it's all workshops so we've got bigger rooms hence why we're in the big yeah, room so we are now in the other room in the textile gallery yeah so the whole panorama room is now workshops and it's really interesting because you know whenever we're, whenever i'm teaching we're always sort of squeezing around tables and you know what spaces are real you know limited so one of the benefits is that i'm gonna have a nice big room to teach in <laughs> so that'll be great Oh, Suzanne said she had a good time as well. You have to do maths on that one as well, don't you, Suzanne? So it's a bit like what we'll be doing next week on level three. But uh, yeah, to make your body double. I don't know how you did that after the retreat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it though. It's a good, it's a good little workshop. See, that's what's coming up for us in the next few weeks. Um, workshops, Goodwood, Sew Alongs, Ali Pally. <laughs> Fast so, approaching. Yes, yes, it is. It's coming. Amy's doing stock takes today, anyway. Mm-hmm. I've been keeping an eye on what you've been up to as well. So Heather made a lovely uh, her, to, wore her Stacy jacket to the theatre. That looks so good. It looked really good. Heather uh, went to see a hairspray, I think it was, wasn't it? So uh, that looked good. And um, Tony posted a picture of her, the trousers she made in the retreat, which was great. And Suzanne told us about having replaced her sewing machine because that was so frustrating on the retreats, wasn't it, Suzanne? I'm so glad they sorted that out for you. Always frustrating when you sew machine, you try everything and can't get it to work, and then find out it's actually a mistake with the machine. So, do let me know what else you've been up to. I did go off it. I was looking you at You went a bit quiet. I did. I was thinking, Are you still I'm with us? I'm sure there's something I'm going to tell you about. Are you still with us? I know Mark? that Justine was asking, asking about the, her outfit for her husband at Goodwood, uh, but that's all sorted now, so all good there. She managed to find out about the trend pattern. Oh gosh, that's on my list. I'm going to write that down, Suzanne. I didn't <laughs> say to Suzanne I would find out because we're doing a sew along with a pattern from Trend Patterns, which has been sold out. And I meant to um, phone them. I'm just going to write that down now, Suzanne, because I completely forgot about that. I'm making a star around it. 
<laughs> I will email her after the live to find out when they'll be back in stock. It's amazing how these things go in one side. Happens to me all the time. So I've also been trying to keep up with what's new, what's been coming up, what I've noticed in the uh, sewing news. Uh, oh, I'll write that on my list as well, Jen. Did I not send that to you? Victory dress. Video. I will send that to you, Jen. Send you the, send you the link to it anyway. I think it's still on the, on the YouTube. I'll make sure you get it anyway, Jen. Anything else on my list? <laughs> Let me know anything Quick, you want me to get in now. Anything else she's things. forgotten? Yeah, anything else forgotten <laughs> since the retreats? My retreat brain. Um, <laughs> you're welcome, Jen. Uh, there's lots of new patterns coming out for the autumn. Uh, Foldline have uh, just put a sentence. You've probably all had it actually. The email from Foldline talking about their. Have you got zips yet? No, we're still waiting for zips, Margaret. Sorry, I've got some odd ones, but we haven't got a zip stand yet. I'll add it to my list to chase that. <laughs> Add it to my list. Speak to the rep about that. You can um, hand that over to me. Yes, doing it at the moment. Covers out of vinyl. Ooh. Doing it with a bicycle cover. Compton cycle bike shopping bag. Mm. Uh, of course, Martina did the bag making workshop with uh, the lovely Sue Cotton. Um, so she's learned lots of tips on working with vinyl. So she's now making a shopping bag for her, for her bike. Uh, Sue will be doing a, a, a quilted bag workshop on the 4th of November, so if you like Sue's quilted bag, I don't think I've got a, I think I've got a no. sample here actually, but it's a, it's a lovely bag with a chain handle, some of you might have seen it on the retreat, Sue's going to be doing that um, on the 4th of November, so if you'd like to make that bag with Sue, that's on the website now, you'll have a fun day with Sue making that, it's a great bag. Um, so then we'll do some more, Sue's going to do some more bag workshops. In fact, she was working on the backpack sample on the retreat, wasn't she? Mm. Which looked very cool. Lots of people have asked for backpacks. Um, and we might do a bag making weekend. Anne says the Hiroshima needles look fab in the background. They are. They, they are, are, actually, Anne. I don't know if you've used them, but we love the tulip needles. They are fantastic needles and pins. The difference is that they are polished up the shank of the needle, whereas most needles are polished around all together like this. I don't know how they do it. Japanese are so clever. They polish them up the shank of the needle so that when you're sewing, they just slide through. Janet's saying she got the PDF for the trend pattern and got it printed by Fabuloso. Oh, there you go. I didn't. Oh, that's there you go, um, Suzanne. You can get the PDF if you can't. I know you wanted to get the kit from them, but if you, if you uh, she hasn't got any kits coming in, uh, but at least you can get the pattern. And has got some from us already. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> We've already told you that story. We've already right? done that sell. Yeah. <laughs> Is it on her website then, Janet? The PDF, the PDF it must be on the website, mustn't it? The um, shirt. I think she has two sections: one for the pattern and one for the kit. So if you look on the one that's just for the pattern, it might have. Um, you might be able to get it there, Suzanne. Have a look there. I'm looking forward to doing that one. I quite like. I do like trend patterns. I'm hoping to do some more trend patterns sew alongs next year. Mm. Uh, no, you're going to get the fabric from Victoria. Oh, well, there you go. So you might be able to get the. Um, from their own website. From their own website, yes. It must be on the way on the section that's patterns rather than kits. Have a look there. Martina used tulip needles for the first time yesterday doing curtains and absolutely amazing. Yeah, you see, once you've used them, it's very difficult. Yeah, you there's no going the back. You do notice the difference if you use other needles. This morning I had to sew on, uh, I did 40, I was doing buttons this morning on waiters' outfits at Goodwood. It's always very random. Uh, and I did 40 jackets, but it was so easy to sew the buttons on. I actually, there were shank buttons, so I had to do oh, by hand. that's annoying. Um, I did it with four threads through the, through the eye of the needle, but it was just so quick doing them with that. Uh, Barbara, I got the pattern, but not the kit from Trend. Oh, there you go. Barbara's doing it as well. How exciting. Everyone's got their patterns. So, yes, I had a quick look. There are some new patterns out uh, um, on the fold line. Um, they've got the paper cut patterns. The paper cut have extended their size range. So if you like the, like the paper cut, but they never had the bigger size range, have a look at their new, they call it the um, curvy range. I think it goes up to a size 22 now. Um, oh, Suzanne's found some cashmere for the pea coat. Yes, you can, Suzanne. So the pea coat is the new pattern from the Makes Atelier, which uh, some of us some of us got to see at the retreat, and that'll be coming out uh, in a couple of weeks. And we'll be doing a sew along for that in January, starting on the 6th of January. So once the pattern comes out, I'll put the details up for the new sew along. Or you, you would have seen the pictures of the pea coat if you have the magazine. Really nice, a really nice pattern. And we were lucky enough to see the samples 
um, at the retreat. So yeah, do send me a, a link. I'll have a look. I'm sure Kashmir will be fine for it. It'll be great. It'll be great. So another couple of new patterns. Oh, just to let you know, some of you are trying to get the kilo wrap dress pattern, which has been out of stock for quite a while in a lot of places. That is now back in stock on the fold line. That's the one that I've been wearing quite a lot that ties around. The kilo wrap dress by Named Clothing. And the new pattern also has a jumpsuit on it as well. Uh, so have a look for that. And, oh, I didn't realise until I was looking today that uh, the fold line do the Tasuti paper patterns. I've always bought them um, direct from, the, from Tasuti, which always takes a bit longer, but fold line do the Tasuti paper patterns as well. Oh, uh, Barbie says she has to run, but we'll watch the rest later. So fun to see you. Ah, oh, it's nice to see you too, Barbie. I'm looking forward. Fingers crossed we get to see you if you come over to London. Let me know what your dates are. It'd be so good to see you. And Linda. Uh, Susan got uh, the kilo from Lamazzi. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's been coming back into stock now. I think everyone has sold out and I think a few people are getting it back. So that's good. It's nice to have the paper pattern for that, isn't it? Uh, and By Hand London have got two new patterns, which are quite really pretty dresses. Um, they're sort of fit and flare dresses. Well, one is fit and flare and one is more sort of less fitted, but really nice shape. Uh, the Liz and the Sandeep patterns. And the good thing about By Hand London is they do B cup patterns, but they also do D cup patterns and they go up to a size 38 which is amazing so uh, have a look at by hand london they they've already i don't know if they've done all their previous patterns but their new ones are going up to bigger sizes and are a uh, size for d cup so a couple of pretty dresses by by hand london there as well so have a little look at the new pants there's a new um vogue book coming out as well have a look at the new vogue patterns i think um uh hmm. so to, so direct sent me an email today with a bit of a preview a couple of nice new ones there sorry instagram for some reason instagram pause oh is it gone back it's reconnected now but sorry so, to anyone on instagram it's not my phone battery dying is it no no might have just been a wi-fi thing <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that we don't like that so let me know if you've seen anything new. Um, I know that uh, there's a few fabric sales around. I haven't noticed anything major, but a few companies have got little fabric sales going on for the autumn. <coughs> let me know if you've spotted anything. It's always nice to share these things, isn't it? So we know what's going on. I'm sure Sherwood sure have got a sale. They always have a sale. They always have a sale. Have a sale. Um, I'm gonna do a little demo today, a pattern cutting demo today. It's something that I often, I'm sure I haven't done it before. Do you know, I suddenly thought I've done it before. But I think because I demonstrated quite a lot in classes, um, the demo I'm gonna do today is, um, for those of you that have a larger upper arm, um, I have a larger upper arm, so, so I often, do I. often have to alter patterns um, to accommodate my larger upper arm. So that's what I'm going to show you today is how to alter your pattern. You're about to see my larger upper arm, doesn't it? Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> for a larger upper arm. Bicep. Uh, upper bicep. So I'm going to show you that on the pattern piece that I've got here. It's one that we do a lot. It's a, it's a, you know, a bit like moving darts. One of those things that we have to do. Um, most of us have to do. Sorry, you're very close to the That's camera. That's very now. close. I know. <laughs> I should drink my tea quietly while we move around. So I'm going to have tea over there. I've covered my upper arms up today. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> So this is a dress, actually I've, I've got this out just to get the sleeve out there, oh what a pretty dress. Mm. Um, it's a dirty dress, um, which is fairly fitted sleeve, you can see that's got a fairly fitted sleeve, so I would always first of all think I need to, I'm going to need to alter that. Um, now when you work with, I decided to get a, a pattern rather than do this on tracing paper because I thought oh, if I do it on tracing paper you wouldn't be able to see it on the table. Um, what is really nice about um, the big four patterns that we talk about, Buttering, Vogue, Simplicity, um, they, new look, they often have finished garment measurements on their patterns. Um, you can just grab me a tape measure for Jane, sorry. I think there's one uh, on my desk in the other room. I knew, I, I knew I'd forget something. I know. <laughs> so you can see that this pattern here in the middle, there's a circle here, which tells you where they're taking these finished garment measurements from. Thank you. So uh, generally in this sort of dress, I would probably make the size 18, um, but you can see here that the size 18 has a finished sleeve of 14 and a half, which I think is probably less than my arm measurement. I'm just going to measure my arm. So 
with a tape measure, you can't see this bit, with a tape measure, I'm just going to measure my arm <laughs> off camera because it's quite big. Um, and my arm measures, that's not no. the widest part. Oh, there we go. Does it need to be accurate? Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm just checking. Are you doing inches? 14. Yeah, 14, yeah. So 14, 14, there you go. So half an inch, unless you're working with a stretch fabric, it's really not enough. You really want an inch to an inch and a half at the arm here. So I'd need to add at least, I, I would say I'd need to add an inch um, here at the bicep area. And you don't want to do any alteration that's going to affect the arm's eye. Uh, and you probably don't want to also affect the bottom of the sleeve as well. So what we need to do is add the, add the fullness here in the middle, just to go around my arm. So we're going to draw a few lines. I bought several rulers. <laughs> first, the first line I'm going to draw is parallel to the grain line through the centre of the sleeve. So I'm using a chalk pencil today just so that you can see the colour on the pattern. And I'm going to draw that all the way up. I'm going to draw a line perpendicular to that at the widest part of the pattern, so where my arm is the widest, because that's why I want to add the fullness. Now before I do any cutting, what I want to mark are my stitching lines. Whenever you do um, any pattern alterations, you want to alter to the um, stitching line, not the cutting line. So you need to mark your seam allowances. Well, you, Janet said she's got this pattern. We were talking about Gertie patterns last night, weren't we, um, Janet, on the sew along. Um, so I'm going to mark the stitching lines, and often I'll mark the stitching line all the way around just so I've got it, but um, I'm just going to mark it where I have the, um, where, I, where I need to be doing alteration. So that's the size 18 stitching line there. And seam allowances on these patterns are one and a half centimetres, which is always nice. That's the stitching line there, and that's the stitching line there. So any cutting I'm going to be doing is only going to be to these points. So what I'm going to do is cut straight up the middle here. the stitching line at the top and I'm going to just stitch snip in from the top to the stitching line that creates a pivot point so by doing that that means that I can now spread this pattern out here so I can add my one inch at the bottom here so I'm going to grab some paper and stick this underneath myself an inch here. So I'm going to put my scissors on the top there because it's curly paper. And just to start off with I'm going to stick it together above. So I can tell that's an inch there because my dot and cross paper has inch gaps in it. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that down there. Now, you could, if you wanted to, do this um, and leave your sleeve flared out. If you were doing a short sleeve, it might be quite nice to make it more floaty. But generally, when you're doing pattern alterations, because you want, you want to bring the sleeve back to its original shape, so you want to bring it back to the original size at the bottom of the sleeve. So to do that, what we're going to do is cut out along the other line that you drew. To your stitching line. And the same on the other side. So I'm just going to do it from this side. So again, we need to create a pivot point at the stitching line. So I'm going to turn this round. Am I staying on camera? Sorry. Uh -huh. No, you're good. So I'll turn around here. Make sure this is laying for the So I'm going to cut out. 
up this way. So what I've done is I've created pivot points like the stitching lines on the side of the sleeve now so that I can bring the bottom in to meet again. Let me just do this. Okay, that's better. There we go. Can you see that? Do you want me to turn the sleeve back round again? Yeah, it's just quite big, so I just have to move the camera yeah. around. Yeah, it's okay, fine. Sorry, choosing a size 18 sling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just thought it was better to do it on a sleeve for an actual pattern rather than making a sample one. So. There we go. So I'm going to bring it back in so that it meets at the bottom of the sleeve here again. Okay, so we're going to get like this sort of diamond shape here, which has added the fullness we need at the place where we need it. And I'm going to stick that back down. Would you do the same thing if you had a very small upper arm? And yes. do reverse yes, the would. calculation? Yes, so, so if, you, if you had a small upper arm, you would overlap in the middle. So if your mm -hmm. pattern's always too big... And then you'd sp spread it out at the bottom? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, you'd just overlap it here. But um, what if you didn't want to change the wrist? So you'd be overlapping here. Yeah. So, well, you would, oh, so it wouldn't you, really you'd do it. You'd overlap yeah, yeah. there, so you would still, it would still, still keep be it okay. the same at the bottom. Okay. At the top, yeah. I understand. Ooh, sorry, yeah. I just dropped the camera. So it works either um, similar with a full bust or a small bust. You just do exactly the opposite. And then you stick everything down, and that has added the amount that you need where you need it. If you need to add more than an inch uh, at your upper arm, I would suggest doing more than one cut. So I would do one in the middle and then do another cut here, another cut here. So just so you're spreading it and you won't get such a distortion. Um, but really, there's no reason why you can't make your sleeve as big as you need it to be in the right place. You may need to, once you've done this, then just put a bit more tape down, just to make it look a bit neater. There we go. Let me turn this round here. You may need to just double check that this is straight across the bottom. It may have lifted slightly, so just put your ruler on the bottom here and where the size 18 is on each side. Can you see it's just lifted very slightly there, so you want to make sure that that is straight across the bottom there. Like that. <coughs> and at the top here, just make sure that you've still got a smooth um, cutting line on your size 18. Actually, that one hasn't really changed it at all. So it often doesn't alter it at all. That's your cutting line and that's your stitching line. So that's all there is to it. So it's quite easy, as you can see, to add whatever you need to where it needs to go without changing your pattern. That's all there is to it. That was my demo today. That's quite easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Suzanne oh. said we disappeared. Oh, no. Did, it, did we disappear for anybody else? Did you miss my demo, Suzanne? I hope it's, I hope it's still there. Yeah, it didn't show anything on my, my end. Yeah, hopefully it was a, a Wi-Fi thing. So there we go. That's my pattern all altered, ready to be um, cut out for my fabric. The right size for me. I hope you found that helpful. It's one of those things. These, these little things can be really helpful when you're when you're um, dressmaking, just to make the pattern fit you. No, it didn't this must have just been you, Suzanne. Oh, there we go. It's, it's just you. Maybe you need to refresh your page because yeah. everybody else is saying it's fine. Oh, Jean said just oh. slightly. Jean says slightly. Oh, that's okay. As long as you sort yeah, you just refresh it. it. As long as you got the gist of it, it's, um, it's yeah, it's a really great alteration. Now, I have to do it quite a lot actually. Even if you just want to add half an inch to give yourself a bit more ease, because it's so frustrating when you've made something and the arms um, are a little bit too tight. Oh, but then Annie said she lost a lot. Seems like some people lost us, some people oh. didn't. What would you do for a two-piece sleeve? Uh, depending on how much you need to add, I would do it in the for a two-piece sleeve. I'd add it in the the piece that's got the majority of the sleeve cap. So. The front sleeve. So in the larger part, I would add it there. Unless you need to do um, uh, add quite a lot, then you would spread it between the two pieces. But generally, it's the piece that's got the majority of the sleeve cap in, because the 
um, when you think about a sleeve, the when you think about a sleeve, the um, centre of the sleeve comes from your shoulder here, and that's really where you want the majority of it. But if you're adding a lot, you could split it between the two pieces. Uh, Margaret said, how much ease should you aim for in upper arm? Uh, depending on the garment, really, I normally go for um, about an inch, inch, inch and a half. That would be your minimum, really, um, because you don't want it to be too tight. When you're bending your elbows bending your and arm. So also double check that if you have got a larger upper arm, bend your arm and you measure it, because it can be bigger. Double check that you've got the maximum. About inch, inch and a half. Inch and a half I actually do for comfort. Um, especially if you're putting something, a lining on something as well, Margaret. Um, I'm good, Julie it. saw it all. Well, that's, that's very strange good. that some people saw it and some people didn't. Well, hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping that it will all be on the recording, so if you did miss some, you'll be able to come back and watch it. And yeah. if you've got any questions, just let me know. Susan said it ended briefly. How strange. It didn't mm -hmm. end this end, did it? Yeah. Well, if you have any problems and it didn't make sense, just message me and I will do it again. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> because Amy's going to come in now and do yes. cocktails. Um, I'm just tidying and making room for Amy. Well, very important. It is very important. It is very uh, important. Right. Could you please move me to the left? Oh, hold on. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Barbie said she didn't see any alteration on any interruption oh, good. on Instagram. Catherine, I found it really useful alteration. Would jacket good. sleeves have more ease? Yeah, slightly more, inch and a half, I would say, Catherine, because you're putting a lining in often. Um, and also, of course, it depends if you're working with the fabric with or without stretch. Um, so I'm being told to move over a bit more. So, oh, here's Catherine. Hi, Catherine, she's just joined us. Uh, the gorgeous blouse behind me. Which one's that? Oh, this one, this one here. This is the tight front blouse from the Maker's Atelier book. The banging feet. Banging yeah. Uh, yes, it's from the um, the, the Mega Atelier book. This blouse here, and the fabric is from Bloomsbury Square. It's a viscose satin. That one. It's a viscose, viscose satin. satin. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Isn't it beautiful? It's this or new. They're like fabrics. making viscose. Um, the children need feeding. Oh, <laughs> um, have a lovely time with your grandchildren, Suzanne. This is why you need the trolley, Catherine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Also doubles up yeah, as a drinks trolley. Drink trolley. And also a flower stand. Flower stand. Yes. Very <laughs> multi-purpose, these trolleys. <laughs> you need one for your cocktails, one for your flowers, and one for your iron. Yeah. So, we've had such a great cocktail, haven't we, the last yeah. two weeks? Yeah, I still feel like I haven't quite recovered. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's been... And also, we've been having breakfasts and... Cooked breakfast, cooked oh, lunch, cooked like, dinners. What do you mean? Well, we got, <laughs> home, got home and no one's making us breakfast anymore. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. We've got to cook dinner for ourselves and stuff again. It was getting, I was getting quite used to going to a yeah, restaurant every night. It was night. quite nice, wasn't it? It was yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh, Kathy says she's going to buy some of that. It's it is beautiful. beautiful. It's stuff. Italian. Mm. Uh, it's just come, uh, came in a few months ago. Yeah, it's been hidden but away, hasn't it's it? It's really beautiful. And there's a, actually, you can't really see it there, but it's also got this really fantastic yellow oh, yeah. that runs through it mm. which is just beautiful it looks like watercolour painting really pretty. it feels beautiful it feels lovely mm. so apologies to instagram we can no longer see your comments no. but uh <laughs> please do keep commenting yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh so i have a little bit of news oh yes um so first little bit of news is retreats mm. uh we have just had a couple of places come available for our West Country retreat in November in Devon, yeah. um, which I think off the top of my head is the 17th, 18th and 19th of November. There are a couple of places available there. Um, also, if you were thinking about coming to the Brighton retreat next March, get in there quickly because a lot of ladies rebooked and we now only have two places left. Mm -hmm. um, hi, Sue. Um and also the Makes Atelier retreat for next year. Again, we had a few people rebook, so we only have two places available for that in April. Mm. We've also just put in, we've confirmed new dates for next November. I know that seems a very long time away, but these places do fill up fast. So uh, Totnes retreat will be happening again next November. On the, the beginning first of November. week, mm. yeah. So it'll be the second, third and fourth of November. So that is retreats. And then, 
we're having a Christmas party. Yay! <laughs> so as you know, or may not know, we had our garden party in August and it was fantastic. It was and we had a fun. really great time. So um, many people have said, when's the next one? When's the next one? So there is going to be a party. Uh, you can buy tickets now on the website. Um, it is going, which I haven't updated the other side of the website. But anyway, tickets are available. Um, it's going to be on Thursday the 2nd of December mm -hmm. because weekends are already fully booked. Yes. Um, I think a lot of people have obviously cancelled Christmas parties from last year. And they it's quite have. difficult to get a it date. It's really it? difficult to get a date, but we kind of thought actually throughout December a lot of people are going to Christmas parties every night of the week, aren't they? So um, it's a Thursday. It's going to be at Park House Hotel, which mm -hmm. is down the road. It's in um, Bepton, so, which is a hotel and spa. So if you wanted to stay, they have a spa and it's <laughs> lovely. The hotel's amazing. Really We've nice. got their barn conversion for the party and there'll be dinner and dancing and mulled wine and Prosecco and, and a buffet, a buffet. Yeah. and we're going to do it longer. So it's going to be between, between six and 11 or 6.30 and 11.30. Anyway, it's on there. I think it's yeah. six or 6.30 start. So it's a longer event. Um, so that we can all have a jolly good time mm. and make fancy sparkly dresses. Yes. And celebrate, get sewing. Celebrate Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, we're telling you in advance so that you can get your party dresses started. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's the big news this week. It is. It's very exciting. We were very excited. Yeah. Actually. We went and visited the hotel on Monday and it was lovely. Really mm. fantastic. And we're very excited. Yeah. Oh. About that. Yeah, so do come and join us for our Christmas party. <laughs> winter soiree. Oh, winter soiree, it. yes. Winter, winter soiree. soiree. Yeah. <laughs> Jenny says yay. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Amy will be building another balloon arch. because she's There will be some balloon more arch. balloons. And <laughs> they are going to send me through um, a rates list because obviously if you are coming from out of the area, they do have rooms there. They have 22 mm -hmm. rooms. It's Thursday the 2nd of December. Um, and they do have rooms that are beautiful, but also it's only a five minute drive to Midhurst. So if you wanted to stay at a B&B &B or a local hotel, it's Park called House. Park House Hotel, mm -hmm. Park House Hotel in Bepton. I can't um, believe we've never been there before. Yeah, really we didn't is. really know. We've heard of it, but we've never been and yeah. it's amazing. It's really, really beautiful. We've only got 22 rooms. It's only small. Yeah. Um, but it is lovely, isn't it? Yeah. It's really nice. So That's exciting news. Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Jen's in Hampshire, so you can come over. Yay, Jen. That's good. That's so good. good. Excellent um, so if you go to the, I think if you go to the events page on the website and there's a link to find out about events. Yeah, you'll see it may it still there. say garden party, but you can still yeah. click through. It'll take you to the same place. I just needed to update that page. But, yes. Yeah. Oh, Jen's been there before. Been there. Zero phone reception. Yeah, oh, probably. Yeah. yeah. But that's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the spa. When we went on Monday, it was boiling hot oh. and there were all these people laying out by the pool. Yeah, we thought, oh, they've got an indoor pool as well mm -hmm. and sauna, steam room, jacuzzi, all of that. Mm -hmm. You can get treatments. But yeah, it felt like we were in another world. It like did. we'd gone, we'd fallen into somebody's holiday resort yes. or something. It was it really did, lovely. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Janet's looking at it already. There you go. <laughs> it's a nice place. Yeah. Love. So there we go, Christmas party. Um, so I'm going to make a little cocktail for us. We did have a few cocktails, didn't we, when we were when we were. We did. Invited. We had a couple of cocktails. That, yeah. Well, they were very good in food for friends, weren't they? Oh, they were yes. our favourite ones in there. Very nice. But this particular cocktail or spirit, should I liqueur, shall I say, got mentioned a few times. It seems to be a seems to be a quite a trendy one at the moment. Well, it's a very trendy cocktail, but that's yeah. not why it was mentioned, is it? Oh, I just got giggly a bit. Mum got giggly because we're going to have a Lillette spritz mm -hmm. and the liqueur of choice is Lillette, which I didn't understand why it was funny, but Mum thought it was hilarious. Well, so. I have had a few things at the time. <laughs> it wasn't Dr. Sneal, it was out with my sister at the time. You so. were. <laughs> so um, Lillette is a white wine based liqueur. At the moment in London, all the cocktail bars are serving a Lillette spritz. Um, which is very similar to an Aperol spritz and there are lots of different takes on it so you can just have it equal parts Lillette with Prosecco or tonic or soda water. See? <laughs> so childish you lot. Um, yeah so it goes really well with tonic water it's not that it is quite what is it strength wise? Oh, it's very low cal. Oh, Only it? 60 calories for heart for double shot. Mm, it gets funnier every time you say it. 
you see? <laughs> it's only 17%, so actually it's a really nice light drink. Oh, Sue Underwood thinks yeah, it's Yeah, you funny, see? Well. <laughs> you lot. <laughs> I've just seen that in the supermarket here in, <laughs> in Austria. In Austria. Oh, you can make Lillette spritzes. <laughs> Is it French? Yes, it's French. Yes. Jean said it made her husband laugh too. <laughs> Sounds like an advert in Jackie. <laughs> it does, doesn't it, you see? That was a magazine for teenagers in my day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's a French liqueur called Lillette Blanc. <laughs> And you can also get, which is just even worse, you can also get Lilette Rosé, <laughs> which I didn't feel was appropriate. So we went for the Blanc version, um, white wine based liqueur, and you can have it soda water tonic uh, or Prosecco. Oh, that would be nice. Uh, so like a long drink with ice, really yummy. But I am doing it as a little short drink. Janet wants some of the Christmas party. We must have, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a little mini bottle of Lilette and then you can take it home and giggle to yourself. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> I'm so glad you see. I know it's all like I was being very silly, but. You see, Kathy's a little or not plus look. Look at the mention of Jackie magazine. <laughs> yeah. Children everywhere. Right, where we used to get our pictures of pop stars and hang the posters on the wall. Oh, I see. Yes. Can you just look after those? I need to look after you. So, we're going to do, I'm doing a shaken version. Janet's not saying anything. <laughs> I'm going to do a shaken version of my take on a Lillette spritz. So, you need some Lillette. You need some, maybe the French pronounce it differently. Lillet. 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 Or something, yeah. <laughs> uh, some, I'm adding some gin. Uh, a bit of sugar syrup, which you can either make or buy. Um, I, need get some more. I need to buy some more. And some soda water and some lemon juice. So, Lillet, I'm calling it now. <laughs> so, I'm just using a photo of it, especially for Claire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to lose it. Okay. Lillet. Lillet. Gin, syrup, <laughs> lemon juice. <laughs> Dear, I don't have Lillette, so can't try. <laughs> well, you can get it on Amazon. I had to get mine on Amazon. You could do this with Aperol. Would you, would you, if you, you could do Aperol, do... would you use gin still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Aperol, Aperol spritz with gin is delicious. So, per person, so I'm going to double up 50 mils of the Lillet. So uh, that's one and that's two. And then we're doing the same of gin, 50 mils of gin. <laughs> Janet's going to have supper, so she's going to giggle, giggle later. Thanks, Janet. I'll have fun at Revival. I'll tell you all about it. Smells in the next nice. Salon. Do I have one? Okay, yeah. So just replace uh, the Lillet with Aperol, Barbara, and it'll be the same um, effect for you. Um, gin, we're doing, I don't know if my shape is good enough for this. Okay, a double shot each of gin. Watch out, Maggie's a gin monitor, remember? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're using this one up so we can start the Brighton gin. Oh, the yes. We've we had got a, a bottle of Brighton great, gin. Uh, great talk by a lady from Brighton Gin on the first retreat. It was so we fun. showing our age? I think that's probably right, The gin. fact that I didn't understand why it was funny, I think, speaks yeah. volumes. So... <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're doing 25 mils per person, or one shot, of lemon juice. So obviously I'm doing a double. This is freshly squeezed lemon juice. And so that one lemon that you did? Oh, uh, that was two small lemons. Yeah, two small lemons. So distracted I'm not writing the recipe down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and sugar syrup is about 12 mils, so half a shot each. I might just about have enough for us, so ours might be a little bit sour, but it'll still be good. Ooh, that's a big glass. That is. And then we're going to shake it. So it's per person, 50 mils of the Lillette, 50 of gin, 25 lemon, 12 and a half or 12 of sugar. Shake over ice. I always, um, I always recap the recipes and write them down on the YouTube page. So if you don't get them, do it all on the YouTube page and the description. Of the recipe for the 
There we go. And when it's super cold, give it a whack. And then ooh, I'm going to double strain it because of the lemon juice. Oh, it smells good. There's a lot of white cocktails I seem to do, yeah, don't they? A lot of the ones that do pick a white cocktail. They're very glad, aren't they? Yeah. So spread that out between the two. You could also make this and put, do it over ice if you wanted to make it into a long drink. Um, because... Uh, what did Barbara say? Oh. oh, Amy, are you writing a book? I should, <laughs> shouldn't I? And then we're going to top it with soda water, which is where we get the spritz from. You could top it with Prosecco or tonic water. Or I went for soda because I wanted us to be able to taste it. And it oh, goes. look how pretty. That's so pretty. There you go. And then I'm just going to... So because uh, Lulet has a bit of like a herbal infusion, you, I couldn't get any today, but you could garnish with some thyme, fresh thyme or lavender. That'd would be, be nice. really nice. Just mm. put a little sprig of those in. But if you don't have those, then you can just do a lemon peel and twist it. It does look pretty, doesn't it, Barbara? That's really nice. So you just do a nice lemon peel twist. Perfect. That looks great. A little spritz. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. I do love these glasses. Mm. Mm. Oh, I like that. Refreshing. Well, it is, isn't it? Is it apple? Did you say it was apple -y? It's white wine, so it's mm. grapey. Grapey. Yeah. Grapey <laughs> and herby. Mm. It's nice. Lovely. But if it was like served over ice, you can imagine mm. it would be really, it's like a bit like a white wine spritzer. Mm. It is very, it's like a spritzer, but with a bit of an aftertaste. It's lovely. It's really mm. nice. I'd definitely try it. recommend that. Mm -hmm. You can giggle to yourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and go and read the our giggle cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> go and read our cocktail. You go. <laughs> <laughs> I must um, actually bake this for Victoria when she gets back. Yeah, she would giggle. Mm. Yeah. So there we go. It's really yummy. Sorry, I'm drinking too much of that. <laughs> we'll, finish that. we'll finish that later. Yeah, we will. Cheers. Well, I've got a copy at Make It Workshop this weekend, so. Well, I'll leave the Lilla out for you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be setting that all up while finishing our cocktails. Mm. Cheers, Sue. Oh, it's been lovely to catch up with you again this it week. It has. When we leave it three weeks, it seems like ages, doesn't it? Mm. And catching up with everybody. Um, so we will see you. I think we'll still be back in a couple of weeks, I won't we? I think we can do yeah, two weeks' two time. Weeks time. So next week, we'll, we'll be, I'll be at Goodwood. Uh, and then the following week, we'll be back with some more news. Uh, and we will catch up with you all, see what we'll be doing. So do keep in touch. If you've got any questions about the um, pattern cutting alteration I did there, do just uh, email me. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it didn't stop in the middle. <laughs> Don't know. But it should be It should be it fine should to upload. It should be fine, yeah. Uh, we could raise money for my sister's house and each sponsor an Amy drink paid for her book. Oh, yes, <laughs> we could, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, thanks, Anne. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. Oh, oh yes, we did, raise, we did raise, did we mention how much we oh, raised we for charity? Oh, we didn't mention it, but yeah. we raised £750 at the Brighton mm. Retreat for uh, sister's My Sister's House. house. So yeah. that, with the garden party, we raised about £1,300 yeah. in two months, which is amazing. Okay, book really would good. be great. Okay, I'll get on it. Get on it. Write a book. <laughs> yeah. It's self-published these days. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's quite expensive to do that. Anyway, what's that anyway? Get on the case. Add it to your list of things. My list. Got, yeah. <laughs> oh, the words of Christmas party. Yeah, yeah. And the Christmas party. Go and get your tickets. Show, yeah. <laughs> we'll have lots of cocktails there. We will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. I've got to go lovely. and turn all the cameras off. Yes. Lovely to see you all. Yeah. So we will catch up with you again in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'll see some of you tomorrow on my copy and make it. But otherwise, see you in a few weeks' time uh, and uh, have a great couple of weeks. Same time, same place. Bye, everybody. Bye.